Hi, welcome to another video from visionscience.com, radio waves and microwaves. Radio waves are the lowest energy, lowest frequency and longest wavelength electromagnetic waves. They are produced when an alternating current flows in an aerial and they spread out and travel throughout the atmosphere. Because they are not strongly absorbed by the atmosphere, they are a good wave to use. Another aerial acts as a receiver and the waves produce an alternating current within it. The frequency matches that of the original radio signal and anyone with a receiver can tune into this frequency and pick up on the radio waves that were sent. This is why they are suitable for broadcasting, for example, radio and TV programs. The advantage of this means it does not require physical cables to communicate information. The disadvantage, however, is that radio stations using similar transmission frequencies sometimes interfere with one another. A common mistake is to think that we hear radio waves. We only hear electromagnetic radiation. The radiation is used to carry a signal that is converted back into a sound by the receiver. Medium wavelength radio waves are reflected from the ionosphere. This is a layer of charged particles in the upper atmosphere. This is why they can be used for long distance communication. Digital radio has a better quality reception as it uses digital signals so it does not have the problems of noise and interference. Microwaves. Microwaves are sometimes considered to be very short radio waves. Some important properties of microwaves are that they are reflected by metal surfaces, they can heat materials if they can make the atoms or molecules in the material vibrate. The amount of heating depends on the intensity of the microwave radiation. They pass through glass and plastics, they can pass through the atmosphere, they can pass into the ionosphere without being reflected, they are absorbed by water molecules, how well depends on their frequency, the energy of the microwaves, Transmission is affected by wave effects such as reflection, refraction, diffraction and interference. Microwaves and water molecules. The microwave frequency can be selected which is strongly absorbed by water molecules causing them to vibrate and increasing their kinetic energy. This effect can be used to heat materials containing water, for example food, if the most strongly absorbed frequency is used in the microwave. It only cooks the outside of the food because it's all absorbed before it penetrates to the food itself. So the frequency in a microwave should be changed slightly to suit that of the food you're cooking. Conduction and convection then spreads the heat through the food. As our bodies contain water molecules in our cells, microwave oven radiation will heat up our cells and it's very dangerous at high intensity as it will burn body tissue. The radiation is kept inside the oven by the reflecting metal case and metal grid inside the door. Microwaves can be sent through the atmosphere and will be absorbed by water and this is why they can be used to monitor the rain. The weaker the signal reaching the detector, the more rain the microwaves have passed through. Wireless technology uses microwaves and radio waves to transmit information. The advantages are, we can receive phone calls and emails 24 hours a day, no wiring is needed to connect laptops to the internet or mobile phones and radios, communication with wireless technology is portable and convenient. Microwaves can be used to transmit signals over long distances if there are no obstacles between to reflect or absorb the beam. This is why transmitters are positioned high up, often in tall microwave masts. They cannot be spaced so far apart that, for example, the hills or curvature of the earth stops the beam. Microwaves are used to send signals to and from satellites. The satellites can relay signals around the earth. The signals may be used for television programs, telephone conversations or monitoring the earth, for example, weather forecasting. Thanks for watching and as ever subscribe to the channel for more revision videos or go to revisionscience.com for more revision materials.